Hello everybody, I'm Gleb and this is my 5G course on IoT Understanding channel. As for today, we're gonna learn about 5G and our channels. Uh, we're gonna talk about more uh, physical channels and signals, but we will cover some aspects of transport and logical channels as well, uh, probably in my next videos. Let's take a look at um, NR channels for downlink direction. As you may see, there are some similar channels as in LTE. Uh, we have a broadcast channel, share channel, control channel for downlink, yeah? But apart from this, we have lots of new um, signals and that's primarily because um, 5G is uh, more suitable, is more, um, is basically uh, going to be deployed in, in a millimeter waves in uh, C-band, yeah, so that's why we need so many new signals to support uh, these frequencies. So, first of all, uh, the combination of physical broadcast channel uh, synchronization signals and the modulation reference signal. This combination in 5G and R, we call it as synchronization signal block. And in uh, 5G and R, each cell is defined by this uh, synchronization signal block. Because as you can see in this block, we have PBCH, which contains master information block, in, uh, and we have uh, this uh, signal for uh, time uh, synchronization, for uh, slow synchronization, uh, for uh, frame synchronization, yeah? So, uh, this block contains a, a, a vital in a vital information for uh, cell search procedures, uh, for cell reselection, and for these purposes, this block has its own um, for uh, measurement purposes, for estimating quality of channel. Yeah, so this block uh, has its own SSRSRP or R, S, R, Q, and S, S, signal uh, plus interference, noise ratio. But with S, S uh, prefix, yeah? So this is a new concept for uh, mobile techniques for 5G, yeah? Uh, because each cell, each NR cell, defines by this SS block. And this is very important. This is a new. And what's more new in 5G, uh, each beam may, um, may use a different SS block indexes. Uh, and uh, a user equipment uh, may estimate each beam uh, in order to choose the best one and to uh, transmit a preamble f in, a in a procedure of uh, initial um, access. But that's uh, quite another topic. But this is again a fundamental difference between 5G and LTE. Uh, that's because we have this SS block and SS block maybe defines, may define uh, each beam and each cell. Apart from this idea, uh, as you can see, each channel that contains information has its own demodulation reference signal. Uh, it helps uh, to estimate um, and perform some attenuation for power allocation of each channels. It helps to demodulate channel uh, in the right way. So, uh, this is again a vital 
um, reference signal. Uh, that's why in 5G and R we don't have uh, such reference signals as uh, it used to be in LTE, yes, or us. Uh, so, um, the emulation reference signal helps us to support the concept of uh, lean system when uh, it uh, transmitted only when it's need to be transmitted, yes, not every time. So, it helps us again to save power uh, and uh, perform lots of other different things. Um, and in addition to that, we have face track and reference signal for our shared channel for uh, user data. We have a face track and reference signal. This is again a very important signal because it helps uh, to estimate phase noises and it's especially um, very important for FR2 for uh, high bands, yeah, for high frequencies. So, uh, it performs uh, very uh, good for uh, user uh, data. And apart from all of these channels, we have uh, such channels uh, as uh, channel state information reference signal to uh, estimate and measure uh, CQI reports for each beam in case of beam forming. And we have uh, tracking reference signal uh, to uh, track each user. It may be configured uh, for each user um, uh, to uh, track time and frequency and uh, to mitigate um, Doppler spread effect. So uh, basically it was um, some information about 5G and R channels in downlink direction and now uh, let's take a look, look at uh, uplink direction. In uplink direction uh, we have a pretty the same picture as it used to be in LTE. Uh, we have uh, uplink share channel, uplink control channel and random access channel for initial transmission of user equipment uh, which carry a preamble. And by the way, in 5G, uh, preamble format, uh, as far as I know, uh, number one, support cell range up to uh, 110 kilometers cell range. So, uh, in 5G, as it used to be in uh, LTE, uh, we may configure a very uh, long distance uh, cell range for some cases. Um, as you can see, um, each channel that has uh, data contains their own demodulation reference signals, yeah? Uh, and uh, for shared channels as well, we have a phase track and reference signal again to uh, estimate and uh, to compensate phase noises, especially for uh, high frequencies, for millimeter waves. And uh, in 5G and R, we have a sound and reference signal, uh, which is pretty similar to LTE but it helps us to um, estimate uh, quality of uplink channel in a particular active bandwidth part. So, uh, uplink channel estimation for active bandwidth part in order to choose the right uh, uh, modulation and coding scheme for modulation and coding scheme. So 
Basically, uh, it was a short uh, overview of 5G and R channels. Um, if you like this uh, short lesson about 5G and R, uh, you may uh, thumb up, uh, subscribe, and uh, we will see you later in my next short lessons about 5G and R technologies.